Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Last episode, we entered Toriel's house. Got our own room, checked out Toriel's room, and asked her how to get home, and then she suspiciously ran all the way downstairs. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Now what if we do do that? What if we listen to her and go upstairs like a good child? Oh, I thought... Oh. I was told something like a special cutscene would happen, but apparently not. Maybe that's... Hmm. Never mind. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. Um... If you escape this battle, that is right, go upstairs, and go back upstairs, this is what I was thinking about, not just simply talking to her once. So if you go and initiate the battle with Toriel, but go back upstairs after running from her, or if you're a terrible person, after killing her... Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. A lot of people don't actually know about that cutscene because they just go straight for the fight with Toriel and don't try to leave and go back. In fact, that's actually the first time I've ever seen it. So it's basically just an ominous voice telling you to... telling... or like a flashback almost. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Anyways, now to the real battle. Toriel, attack 80 and defense 80. She knows what's best for you. Just like in the oven, she uses fire magic. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. While I'm here, I might as well try to correct something that I said the first time. There are not 72 uses for snacks. Uh, I accidentally got this from a comment that I saw, I think on the Steam comment thread? Point is, there's not actually 72 uses for snacks. So, no matter how much you try to talk to her, Tried to think of something to say, but nothing. No matter how hard you try, you will never be able to come up with any conversation topic. Ironically, talking to talking does not seem to be the solution in this situation. So yes, talking is not the solution, as much as you would think it would be. Instead, you have to listen to that. The, you have to listen to the advice of that one frogget and try to spare her. 
even though her text is not yet yellow, or pink in my case. You see there, we have two lines of ellipses, and that means progress. And three. You may also be noticing that I am on very low health. What are you doing? And yet I am completely and utterly going out of way my way to not heal. This is due to the fact that attack or run away. This is due to the fact that you can't actually lose this fight. Well, you can, but it is very difficult to do that. What are you proving this way? As soon as you get down to 2 HP, she will Stop trying to attack you directly. Fight me for me. Stop trying to attack you directly. Stop it. And avoid all contact with you. Stop looking at me that way. No matter how hard you try to get hit, you can't. Tornado looks good. Go away. You can, however, lose this while difficult to do, and upon your death, Toriel will have a shocked expression. Further building on the fact that she's a lot of a motherly character, and accidentally killing you like that would break her heart. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. If you are heartless, you can fight her right here, once she's ready to be spared, and instantly kill her. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear, for you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Oh my god, it's so wholesome. Toriel is such a sweet character. But anyways... Uh, you know what, I should probably heal due to the fact that I'm at 2 HP. Let's head out. Look who it is. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time, but what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? You kill out of frustration? Or you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting.
Bye, you little freak. And this is where the demo or hard mode of Undertale would end. Finally, we're outside the ruins. And actually, what's in this bush? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. That's interesting. <coughs> eh, I already got one. I think I already have one. Shake my hand. There he is. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But. You know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. And my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up. Brother, it's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit on the boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work today. A skeleton. Smiling. I am and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down the bone. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Papyrus be able to see us from this angle? Like, for real. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, I'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Is that a bad thing? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. 
Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. What do you mean? You went backwards. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. So? Actually, what's this? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Sure. All that's attached to the end is a weird photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. So anyways, we are at the we finished the end of the ruins, bought Toriel. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna save you for later. We fought Toriel, left the ruins, and met a fan favorite character twice. No, that's really weird wording. We fought we found two favorite favorite characters, and next time we're going to explore. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. We will explore Snowden. See you guys next time. <laughs>